Hey, this is Presto Walker. Here's an interesting integral I saw. What is the integral from 0 to pi of cosine squared of cosine x plus sine squared of sine x dx? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, label the entire integral as being equal to i. Now let's look at the graphs from 0 to pi. You'll notice that each graph is symmetrical about the line x is equal to pi over 2 right in the center. In other words, if we take these graphs and find their mirror images about this line, we will get exactly the same graphs. So we can take advantage of this to evaluate the integral. The integral of this function from 0 to pi will exactly be the same thing as twice the integral of this function going from 0 to pi over 2, which is halfway. So now let's do a change of coordinates. Let's say that x is equal to pi over 2 minus y. This means dx is equal to negative dy. We also need to change the limits of integration when x is equal to 0, y is equal to pi over 2, and when x is equal to pi over 2, y is equal to 0. So we get that i is equal to 2 times the integral from pi over 2 to 0. Then we substitute in x is equal to pi over 2 minus y. And finally, dx becomes negative dy. So now let's simplify this. Cosine of pi over 2 minus y is equal to sine of y. And sine of pi over 2 minus y is equal to cosine of y. Then we have this negative dy, which we can cancel out by flipping the limits of integration. So the integral becomes 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine squared of sine y plus sine squared of cosine y dy. We now have two integrals. We'll just do one more change of coordinates. We'll make all of these y's into x's. So we can now add these two integrals together, and we get that 2i is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine squared of cosine x plus sine squared of cosine x, plus cosine squared of sine x, plus sine squared of sine x, all dx. We can now make a simplification. Cosine squared of something plus sine squared of the same argument will be equal to 1. Then we have cosine squared of something plus sine squared of the same something, so this will also be equal to 1. So 2 times this integral is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 2 dx. We now just evaluate this integral, and this is all equal to 2 pi. We then divide by 2, and we get that i is equal to pi. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.